What is up everybody? My name is Pete and I play music. So this week I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some of the weirdest, most unpractical and yet strangely popular ways to play guitar. I've picked six different methods of playing, all used by legendary players through rock and metal, and I'm going to try each of them out. I've never tried any of these before, so I have no idea how this is going to go, but I've been playing guitar for a long time. How hard can this be, right? Also, quick shout out to my dude Steve, you'll no doubt know him as Samurai Guitarist on YouTube. He made a video very similar to this a few years ago, you can check it out up there if you feel so inclined. Alright, let's do this. Jimmy Page is famous for using a bow to bow his guitar on Dazed and Confused, I think that's from the first Led Zeppelin album. So which guitar am I gonna bow? The one which looks most like a violin, naturally. So I've got this tune to Dad Gat, so it's D, A, D, G, A, D. So a nice open tuning, hopefully that will work very well with a bow. This is awesome! I'm going to try and hold it like a violin. Man, I might start using this myself. One thing I will say is it makes a total mess of your guitar. That must be the residue coming off the bow. But holy moly, boy does that work well. I don't know whether it's coming across on the audio I'm recording, but in the room it actually sounds like a cello. I like this, this is really, really cool. I might actually try and work this into a song in some way. And again, with practice, I think that can be mastered completely. Holy moly does that work much better than I ever expected. Jimi Hendrix, Zach Wilde, and most recently Cara Delevingne have all been famously known for playing guitar behind their back or behind their neck. Now this seems simple enough, how hard can it be? I'm going to see if I can play Master of Puppets, a song I know very well, behind my back. So you put this up here, like that, and... Oh god. Oh god. Nope. This way? God damn it! So I suppose if I was to do all down picking here, it would actually be all up picking. God. I'm not making this look harder than it is. It's actually quite hard. How do people do this? God damn, that's hard work. So apparently you have to be a gymnast to do that kind of thing. <sighs> I've got a whole new level of appreciation for people who can do that. What's next? So when I was a kid, I saw Steve Vai and Eric Sardinas play live at the Hammersmith Apollo in London. And aside from being an awesome show, Eric Sardinas did this great thing where he jumped into the crowd and started playing slide guitar with a beer bottle. I think he may have even opened the beer bottle with the guitar. So, Brew Dog. How hard can this be? Um. That's a bad idea. I'm just gonna use a bottle opener. It's way too early on a Monday morning to be drinking beer. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Yeah, with some practice that can work. Essentially what you're doing is turning a guitar into a fretless instrument, so it's super hard to get things in tune. So yeah, with some practice, I think that can really work quite well. Cheers. 
Queen's Brian May is well known for using a coin, specifically an old sixpence piece, instead of a guitar pick. Now, here in Blighty, an old sixpence piece has long been discontinued. However, there is a fivepence piece. Uh, but let's give it a go, let's see how it sounds. So yeah, it's got quite a blunt sound to it. I don't I don't like it. So coins definitely work as guitar picks. They do feel very, very strange though. However, I imagine if you've been playing like this for a very long time like Brian May has, it probably becomes second nature. Bumblefoot, virtuoso guitar player and former member of Guns N' Roses, is famous for using a thimble to extend the fretboard to achieve higher notes than normal. It's a pretty tricky technique to master, it's very similar to slide, you have to hit the exact right spot otherwise you will be flat or sharp so your notes will be out of tune. So my thimble is on my middle finger which I guess is traditionally not the right place to have it, you'd have it either on your pinky or your ring finger instead. Uh, however this is the smallest thimble I could find at short notice and even then I had to pack it with blue tack to make it stick to my finger. <laughs> <laughs> so yep, similar to a slide, this works very well and can give you more range when you're soloing, but it can also sound like nonsense. Virtuoso guitar player, legendary shredder Paul Gilbert is known for playing guitar with a drill. I'm not sure if he invented this or whether he just popularised it, but he devised a way of putting guitar picks on the end of a drill bit and playing guitar with them. Now this is the best I could cobble together at short notice, but let's see if it works. <laughs> yep, that works very, very well and actually gives me an idea. I'll do it. So that's just six of the weirdest ways that people play guitar that I could think of. I'm sure there's many, many more. If you know of any that I've missed and think I should try out, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe button is up there. Hit that and turn on notifications if you want to see more. Patreon is over there. Consider checking that out for tabs and extras for all my videos. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, my name is Pete and I play music. <laughs>